There are just four Sundays of Advent. It's hard to believe that we today are at that fourth Sunday of Advent. That means that Christmas is just right around the corner. Christmas this particular year is next Sunday. Now, I've heard a few people say over the last couple of days that they need just a couple more weeks before Christmas arrives. Let's just put the brakes on, and I still need a couple more weeks. But I say to myself, that old saying used to be that every job gets done in a time allotted it. So the more time we're given to do a job, the more time it takes us to do a job because we procrastinate typically and put things off. But Christmas is coming fast. And you might be saying to yourself, there's no way I can get done. I got so many gifts yet to buy. And then obviously so many gifts I have to wrap. I just got to do all these things. I just can't get done. Now, there's nothing wrong with being busy during Christmas because it's a fun thing to do. It's kind of fun to race around and, and do all these different things. But we always have to remember in a religious setting, because we're all trying to prepare for Christ in our hearts, there's one message, one simple little message that we must not forget as we rush around, try to do a thousand things before next Saturday, Christmas Eve, and next Sunday, Christmas Day. Let's take a look at what that just might be, what we should never forget. Let's, let's watch this little video. What if there were things you could never take back? Words. Decisions. Mistakes. A world where every heartache lasted forever, where every wound never healed. No autocorrect, no backspace, no delete. A world where man only drifts farther and farther away from happiness, from peace, from God. That's what the world would be like without a savior. Thankfully, that world doesn't exist. Because one quiet night long ago, in a tiny town, a child was born. Born to change all hearts, end all goodbyes, fix all mistakes. Born to overcome anguish, regret, depression, fear. He understands you. He heals us. He can bridge the lonely gap between God and man and bring us home if we let him, if we love him, if we follow him. That's why we celebrate. That's why we sing. And that's why he was born. Maybe you, in fact, have a lot of things to do. But the message for the fourth Sunday of Advent is simple. It's a message that I don't want to camouflage by being verbose. But it's a message that Christ, our Savior, is coming into the world. That's what we want to celebrate. So despite the fact you might have to do all these things, you might be racing around and rushing and trying to get a bunch of things done. In the process of all that, don't forget the most important reason that we celebrate Christmas. The Christ, as they say, the reason for the season. So in the middle of trying to do all these things, just, just make sure that the Christmas morning when you wake up that you are prepared internally. You have prepared yourself spiritually for the birth of our Savior. 